Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Whoa, me boosted. <laughs>
Okay, I'm only 127. That's not too bad. Um, are you the same tiered saddle as this? Can I take your saddle? Is it the same thing? Yeah, it is. Oh, look at him. He looks so cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's get came up. Look, hold on. Let's, let's look this way. Let's go to the light. Here. Uh, Shadow, you can follow us. Uh, I tamed. Oh, they're, oh, they're fast. Let's here. Let's, let's uh, into the light a little bit here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can I look this way? <laughs> look at look at his little face. <laughs> he does a little head tilt thing like. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the best. Oh, I don't even care. Like, please don't be super weak because you're so... Oh, it's quick. Look at... <laughs> and the stamina is pretty good, too. <laughs> oh, I don't know why this is so great to me. All right, Shadow, hang out there, buddy. Can you jump? Oh, they can jump. Okay. Left click is a peck. Right click does nothing. Look at their jump. Oh man, they are, they are fast little beasts. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> okay, well, let's, hey, hey guys, let's tour the island a little bit. Um, this is called the Red Scary. That's, that is what the island is called. We are here. Uh, so we're over in, so you can see where the ship's at on the very bottom left. We are in A3. Hello, Rhino. Um. I guess I'm in you now. Okay. Um, so we wanted, Monkey wanted kind of a, he wanted to try doing like a desert style island, which I'm totally down with. Oh, there's Monkey Puzzle right now. Man, these dudes are, qu they're so quick and this stamina is like nothing. Okay. Um, weight's going to be an issue. Did you just do a little dance? <laughs> the sound. Um, so yeah, we picked uh, this cool looking desert island. Um, we got some other stuff here. So I tamed Shadow, uh, that bear you saw. Um, the schooner over there is first hand. You guys saw that's built that in the stream if you watched it. And then I started the framework for this, which I built. I just finished off myself uh, yesterday, the Mist Wraith. I did that so I could have a, a ship over here. Uh, and then I put the, the brig in, and we can actually do galleons now because, yeah, because <laughs> we can do galleons. So we're going to catch up and do some of that stuff. Um, so we're kind of just getting started over here. We we don't even have like a proper place to log out really yet. Um, I put a man. The fact they can jump is so great. Can you? There's no way up from here, is there? Okay. Um, so this island has a lot of good stuff on it. We don't have gems, which we need. Um, like the 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 glide time on their jumps is fantastic too. <laughs> Okay, whoa, whoa, a little too far. Uh, so we've got a lot of cool stuff up here. Um, I threw our bank down just in case people came in to do stuff. So we could have a bank up here. So uh, we jump up. Um, so, like, literally, that's all we have back here is this little log art room in the back. So we're, we're obviously going to be working on that stuff a little bit. But, yeah, check this out. So we've got, we've got crystal and stuff up here. And from up here, I can give you a better view. Oh, stamina is finally going away. Look at that. Okay. Ooh. So here's a bit of our island. We wanted something a little smaller this time. The, the last thing was great, but it was it was pretty big and it was hard for us to kind of be any place specific on there. Like and there's just too much there's too much going on all the time, right? So a little smaller island. We're gonna build, I think, um, to the left of where the brig's at now and kind of leave the rest of this kind of alone. Because we like how it looks. It's a pretty neat looking place. Uh so we'll probably end up building, you know, up on top of some of this stuff. Whoop. I'm worried about fall damage because <laughs> of how far it can jump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. A little fall damage. Nothing too bad. But check this out. There's a nice cool flat spot up here. So we can definitely build like in this section. And have, we have tons of room up here. We have to get materials up here, which won't be great. <laughs> but it won't be horrible either. Um, and I'd like to... I don't know. We haven't... Like I haven't played with uh, the elevators at all. But I heard the elevators are pretty good now. 
So uh, we might get some elevators going and kind of work some stuff out, but there you go. That's the basics of where we're at now. We got a chocobo. I'm excited about that. Uh, Monkey just got on. I think we're planning on getting some more taming stuff done because we need to get our basics taken care of. <laughs> got the old golden saucer here. Oh, I couldn't act. Just chocobos, man. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go see what Monkey Puzzle's doing and then I'll bring you guys back. <laughs> okay, I probably said I was gonna go see what Monkey Puzzle was up to. Uh, we ended up streaming for a little bit. <laughs> so, some things have changed. W welcome to the future, geeks. <laughs> so, oh, uh, I can get out of game mode. Uh, so, we we're, gonna, we're gonna kind of bypass some stuff here, real quick. We'll come back to this. Uh, Brig, Brig deal. Uh, some some schooners, which we've already seen those. Um, <laughs> which you probably have not seen if you didn't watch the Monkey Puzzle stream. Was all of this? <laughs> so we uh, he had an idea to kind of move all of the stuff, like the shipyards and stuff, down here. Uh, so we can because we can then put like two large ones next to each other and two small ones. We wanted to kind of build with cliff platforms to make it. Um, I don't know modular is the wrong word but kind of just like like not take up a crazy amount of space to do all the other stuff so he built this it was really this is a he had to eyeball this did a really good job look at like how straight this is and he got it to like go right over top of the shipyard so you can go like right out into it so uh galleon that will be made soon um and then inside we kind of just we, we worked off kind of the basic idea we had with the the last keep uh, where we kind of did like you know so we're gonna forge or loom our tannery uh, our stuff is done in the central area so we got a ship resource box uh, some mortar and pestles uh, the smithy some storage boxes up top and then for the moment we just have some beds up here and some cooking stuff over here and then back this direction uh, he used another cliff platform to put a spot in to store creatures um, so this was given to us today. Uh, Mr. Whitey, one of the patrons, uh, was actually over here to get a draft and then realized he didn't want to take the cow with him. So he left us a cow that we can get milk from. So that's pretty neat. Uh, our two bears, uh, bison tamed up a giraffe. Uh, and then monkey had tamed up or bison. Maybe I think I thought monkey, um, tamed up this, uh, rhino. And then monkey and I, at the end of his stream yesterday, got peanut here. And then they each got chocobos as well. So now we've got bok bok and beep beep. <laughs> so we've got chocobos in here now. Uh, we've got some tames. Enough stuff for us to kind of gather like crazy. I've done some of that so far. Uh, not a crazy amount. Well, I'm going to need to eat. Uh, I haven't done a crazy amount, but I did enough to kind of finish off the brig. Let me um, let me do this food thing real quick. Uh, I don't want to take celery because that's something we can use to tame. I've been talking to Monkey and trying to kind of figure out, like, I think he said he figured out kind of a a way to do this easily. I think it's like, so with where we're at now, we're probably going to want to do um, two or three of these. Ooh, that might be too much. I'm like, I'm not hungry, so that's going to be a slight problem. So anyways, it's like 15 of these other ones. And I think I just have to do like 30 now. Uh-huh. I think that's right well we'll find out in just a second that should put all the levels pretty close when it's done i actually think i can go a little farther too because the meat um the two meats have kind of stopped uh just under what looks like halfway i think i can go a little bit more on both of those i overeat i'm hurting myself <laughs> if you eat anymore you're gonna hurt yourself that's what it says oh i definitely ate too much of the uh <laughs> of the leafy things all right that's fine um we'll work on that stuff anyways that at least that way i won't uh starve or i won't die of the other issues and then i need to have a little bit of water Go ahead and just fill this guy back up with our water barrel. Okay. Our personal needs have been seen to. Let's go check this out. 
So I built this brig because we, we built, I, I put this down just so we could have the framework to get a bigger ship started. And then Monkey was like, hey, what if we move everything down here? So uh, I like that a lot. So I built this and kind of get, I'm just going to get some stuff moved up out of the way here. Golden saucer, up you go. It's still docked, so I can kind of just move around a little bit. Ooh, you are real creepy looking when you're eating, buddy. Okay, so we'll just uh, go ahead and here. I have some crew here. Um, I'm going to put them on cannons and stuff. I took them off of the Mist Wraith. I'll probably take some off the first hand as well, so we can kind of take this out today. Um, yeah, so Brig, right? I mean, this you, I kept kind of the same format I used for the Hall of Notes, uh, I, except I put a handling sail on this one and two uh, speed sails. And then inside, we can kind of come in here. And we've got the stairs all the way down to the bottom with all the... All the stuff to build with, except for mortar and pests. I think I missed those. And then we've got um, all of our cannons. So it's our gunnery deck. Up here, we've got our food stuff. Should be good for a while still. Parsley, yep. Okay. Um, and then up front here, we got two large cannons. I can still put some more cannons on either side of this. Um, I put a catapult in. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then actually up here, um, I did this a little different. I gave us another spot up here. So, like, there's another little open area back here. I don't th I don't think I did that in the whole notes, but I can't remember now. <laughs> and then up at the very back, uh, two large cannons. So that's all I can put up here for large cannons because anything else is too big. So I think I'll have to put, like, mediums and stuff over here. Um, you can see white-wise, I'm already pretty close to to what I... Like, that's, that's more than I wanted to put on here, but, uh, you know, I kind of... <laughs> I kind of wanted to build some silly things. Uh, so cannibal, we'll do that. Or the cannibal, we'll do in a second. Did you get water while you're open? Okay, so I left this open, and we had, um, we had a storm, and nothing came in. So it looks like, like I'm gonna have to actually be cognizant of where it is, compared to the stuff up there. It means I should probably put it up here. Oh, by the way, I didn't see this until. Uh, I logged off you guys. See how I just said I'm hot? And at the bottom, you can see the little, uh, my water decreasing faster because the ambient temperature. And it's gone. When you're on the Chocobos, uh, you get a bonus uh, hyperthermic insulation boost uh, because you're on one of these guys. So that's really neat. Like in hot areas, if you're, hey shark, <laughs> in hot areas, if you're uh, on one of these guys, you'll actually lose, or the heat won't be as big of a deal for you. So pretty neat. Um, probably. Probably right here -ish. I get I guess I could probably put the ladders down. Oh you can't do Okay, so this is something that they said they added from the thing you press L. Ha ha Nice, alright, so ladders come down that way. So the ladder goes right to the end. So I guess as long as we're on this side of if we're in between the two ladders, we should be good with the water barrel not being in the way. So we'll do one of these right uh, here. Put a lid. Now that should be able to get some some uh, some stuff. Okay, L. <laughs> That's so great. You can just put ladders up and down that way. All right. Uh, so I've launched a ship. Hopefully, hopefully it's deep enough. It's always a scary sound. Um, this is going to be a PVE vessel. We're going to call this one. Uh, dredge let's call it the dredge uh i'm calling it that because this is going to be the ship that i want to take out to get um like the shipwrecks and stuff i want to be able to take this out to get shipwrecks and uh something else i'll show you in a second okay so we need to get out of here first let's go ahead and because i think that i can do that I'm actually curious as to whether or not, um, I guess let's check this out first. I think I can just destroy the shipyard now without it being an issue. I think, um, find out in just a second, I guess I, do, I, I should have emptied everything out of there. I was <laughs> a little leery to do this. Um, but we'll have to find out. Okay. Everything's out of it. Oh, yeah, totally fine. Ooh, okay. Um, that's probably more stuff than, than I should be putting on this ship. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do here? Um, 
I haven't tried. I haven't tried this ladder yet. With the cannons back there, this might not work. Oh, we're good. Okay. Ooh, does the captain thing get rid of that? Can I do that from here too? Gotta wait. There's a little cooldown. Yes! Sweet. So either of these two can do the ladders. Awesome. Okay, so the catapult. I wanted to see if this worked on here too. It totally does. Oh, um, I need to put this on first. That would suck not to do that. Uh, so you can, you know, change your trajectory. It's harder to see when you're when you have the the thing on, but like bloop. I'm gonna give myself a little a little alley oop there. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great um for when we do pirate stuff like <laughs> we can we can like fling ourselves with people's boats now <laughs> oh it's awesome oh, close the lid. okay uh, i'm gonna drop this stuff off guys and then we will uh we'll take the dredge out and see about uh we need to get some more materials and i'll show you the thing i want to work on back in a few <laughs> well it's raining uh, we haven't left yet, and I realized that uh, this is probably going to be pushing too many minutes for video. So I'm going to show you what I wanted to do, uh, and then we'll work on it next. Part of it is uh, I made these dinghy docks because um, the new, uh, the, like the latest state of the game kind of thing, they showed the update they want to do for this month, and it includes cargo rock or cargo racks, which you hook to dinghy docks, which will like drastically reduce the weight of things like materials that are in there. Um, so I am looking forward to doing that. That's I want to be able to just hang those off the sides of the ship and be good to go for that. Um, and then I made a diving thing too, so we can do some scavenging. So we're gonna do the diving on this one, and then this side we're gonna put the dinghy dock. And there's a different reason for the dinghy dock. Um, I like I, oh, hey, it's getting water. Perfect. Um, so I I said it at some point. I'm not sure uh, where, but because of the size of our map which i can get out of here and i'll show you real quick so we're a three by three grid with lots of islands right there's you can see actually right now in the top left the top middle the top right uh the far right in like the outer corners of these maps there's little uh circles on top of those islands those are power stone islands so we're set up to get all the power stones um but you can't take them to the central maw uh, with the Kraken without leaving an entirely blank space. So we don't actually have one of those spots, which means this cool new thing they added in this make update for the trench, the sub, we can't do. <laughs> like, we'd have to have a, an entirely blank spot on our map to put in the Kraken, and then nothing spawns in that area at all. It's just a big open grid that we're paying for, essentially, that we can't use for anything. So... I got a mod. I put a mod on here. It was hard for me to do because we really like just having it vanilla. Um, but so instead of losing that space in the middle, um, we put a mod on that. Uh, well, I can show you. In skills under seamanship at the very, very bottom after expert ship, right? There's explore the depths. It gives you uh, the, the ability to build a submarine. Uh, so that's in quest skills here. Uh, gives access to crafting the submarine, which is supposed to be done in a ship hangar. Indeed. Oh, I can build the actual dinghies in this, too. So you can see it's got the requirements there for it, right? So uh, it takes alloy, three different kinds of alloy. It takes crystal. Uh, so we need two types of crystal. We need 372 fiber. We need three different kinds of gems, oil, organic paste, and wood. It's actually not crazy expensive, but the alloy is kind of a pain in the butt. That being said, I have got most of what we need up here already i've been gathering stuff um i need another type of crystal another type of gem and uh i think just the basics after that just wooden stuff so we're gonna be using this we're gonna try using this to uh explore some shipwrecks and eventually hit that trench too so that's the goal um for over here for the diving deal i just need to put in oil uh which i haven't done yet so i'll do some of that too but, uh, yeah, so we got Chocobo. We got a brig made and launched. This will be our PvE exploring ship, the Dredge. The galleon over there getting built. I think Monkey Puzzle is going to be building that real quick because he wants to have a PvP galleon. So I think he's ready to roll on that. We've got the, the beginnings of a base here, a new island. 
a fresh start, man. We are we're almost back to the point we were before, and that's kind of the goal was to get us all back there as quickly as possible as to go back to enjoying the map. Uh, we're gonna be exploring, checking new stuff out. Whew. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you on the flip side.